morning, everyone. My name is Omar Faisal C. Katog. And my name is Paolo Sumong Sumbakasmas. And our topic for today is all about organization environment. While the general environment includes factors that indirectly affect all businesses, the task environment includes those factors that directly affect how a business operates. Components of a business task environment includes competitors, customers, suppliers, regulators, and strategic partners. The first one is competitors. Competitors are other businesses who can offer the same or similar goods and services to your customers. The second one is customer. A person or organization with a desire or need who is willing to give money or any other personal resources to meet that desire or need. Customers are important because they are the source of income. Without them, business cannot continue to exist. The third one is supplier. Suppliers are also organizations that provide raw materials that the company or business uses to produce its own goods and services. So, kadalasan talaga sa mga business or company owners ay isa lang yung supplier nila dahil kapag Nagkaroon ka ng magandang relationship towards sa iyong supplier ay maraming pwedeng benefits na makukuha nito. The fourth one is the fourth one is regulators. A person or organization that verifies that a company is operating in accordance with official rules or laws. The last one is strategic partners or also called strategic allies, is another company entity with whom you enter into agreement to exchange resources with the goal of mutual success and growth. Number two is technological dimension. In this area, technology is typically defined as the knowledge, tools, and processes utilized to convert inputs into outputs. Inputs are typically raw resources such as steel, copper, or iron ore, whereas information comprises data, numbers, and statistics. These inputs are utilized to create outputs which are commodities and services. For example, the knowledge of authors, editors, and artists in the use of devices such as computers and printing presses Technology transformed raw materials such as paper, ink, and glue into a book that resembles a finished product. Changes in technology can assist businesses in providing better products or producing their products in a more efficient manner. Number 3. The Political Legal Dimension in this area includes legislation, regulations, and even court decisions that govern and regulate business behavior. Although business managers can't necessarily change laws, though they can certainly try, they do need to operate within the laws and other regulations established by the country that they operate within. Internal Environment Organizations also have an internal environment consists of their owners, board of directors, employees, and physical work environment. Owners. The owners can be a single individual who establish and runs a small business. Partners who jointly own the business. Individual investors who buy stock in a corporation or other organization which means an owner can can own a business own a business or own a small business like sari sari store um, a coffee shop and etc but <coughs> Okay, next. Board of Directors. Board Directors have private companies, charities, and non-profit organizations. 
they can have all a board. Board of Directors A corporate band of directors is a governing body. Is elected by stockholders' interests. The meaning of a board of directors they represent they represent the share holders they are responsible for coming up with uh, policies to manage the corporation <clears throat> they are responsible for charity private company and non-profit non-profit organization and all these can ha all have a board mm, just like a just like a business that that you have you like a big business you should really have a board directors because they are they are they are the ones who, that makes your company work it's employee speaking of employee they are the ones that who are willing to work at a business or a restaurant they're the one that that runs an organ organization or a business that an owner owns okay. the physical work environment a final part of internal environment is the organization actual physical environment and the work that people do which means uh, ito yung mga ito ang environment na ginagawa ng people tuwing nagtatrabaho sa isang opisina sa isang surban they do their works as they do the economic dimension the economic dimension of an organization's general environment is the overall health and vitality of the economic system in which the organization operates. Uh, this means ang, ang economic dimension ay dimension ay dito na kasaad ang ang mga kita, profit ang inflation rate uh, minsan bumababa ang kita dahil sa mahal dahil sa kagamitan medyo pricey like. <laughs> With, uh, every week nagda-drop ang company dahil sa kakulangan sa materials tumatas ang demand sa company mm, mga sample unemployment di sila, di sila kumukuha ng mga unemployed employees di mas kaya minsan nakaka problema sa isang business sa inflation rate mataas ang demand ng mga tao mababa ang kita ng mga employee mina ang company minsan ganyan Hello, my name is Hansford Papua. You do see now I'm going to discuss what is ethical and social environment of management. So when we say ethics, it is an individual personal beliefs about what constitutes right and wrong behavior. Important areas of ethical concerns for managers are how the organization treats its employees and how employees treat the organization and also how the organization and its employees treat other economic agents. So the ethical context of organization consists of each manager's individual ethics and messages sent by the organizational practices. Organizations use leadership, culture, training, codes, and guidelines to help them manage ethical behavior. Likewise, 
what constitutes ethical behavior varies from one person to another. Further, although ethical behavior is in the eye of the beholder, the term usually refers to behavior that confirms the generally accepted social norms. That would be the end of my discussion. Good morning, everyone. Today, I will discuss to you about the social responsibility and environment ethics are associated with individuals and their decisions and behaviors. Organizations themselves do not have ethics, but they relate to the environment in ways that often involve ethical dilemmas and decisions. Social responsibility is a set of obligations an organization has to protect, enhance the societal context in which function. So, social responsibility, we need to uh, adopt policies, policies that promote the, the well-being of society and the environment will lessen negative impact to them. So, social responsibility, we need uh, uh, policies to be, uh, should be followed. That's why uh, kailangan nating mag uh, act with a manner that benefits with the society. Hindi lang ikaw ang dapat makabinibis kundi ang society mismo. Lahat tayo, the world can benefits. So we are going to the functions. Number 1, argument for social responsibility. People who argue in favor of social responsibility Responsibility claim that organization create many of the problems that need to be addressed. In a business, facing different problem is inevitable. So that organization play a major role in solving them. Business should not try to avoid obligation. Many large business often have surplus revenues that could be used to help solve social problems. For example, they'll donate surplus computer to school and many restaurants give leftover food to homeless shelters. Number two, arguments against social responsibility. Some people, however, including the famous economist Meltron Friedman, argue that widening the interpretation of social responsibility will undermine the U.S. economy by detracting from the basic mission of business to earn profits to, for owners. There is one and only one responsibility of business to use in resources and engage in activities designed and increased profit as long as it stays within rules of the game. Social responsibility have two functions, arguments for social responsibility and arguments against social responsibility. So, argument for social responsibility we have, number one, business creates problem and should therefore help solve them. Number two, corporation are citizen in our society. Number three, business often has the resources necessary to solve problems. Number four, business is a partner in our society along with the government, the general population. So, arguments for social responsibility, ay eh, tumutukoy siya sa ano, problema na kailangang solusyonan. While arguments against social responsibility, we have number one, the purpose of business in U.S. society is to generate profit for all. Owners. Number two, involvement in social programs give business too much power. Number three, there is potential for conflicts of interest. And number four, business lacks the expertise to manage social program. So we, we are done the two functions of social responsibility in organization. The arguments for social responsibility and arguments against social responsibility. So... So move on. Manage, managing social responsibility. The demands for social responsibility placed 
on contemporary organization by an increasingly sophisticated and educated public are probably stronger than ever. As we can see, there are pitfalls for managers who fail to adhere to high ethical standards for companies that try to circumvent their legal obligation. In the other words, they should view social responsibility as a major challenge that requires careful planning decision making, consideration, and evaluation. Managing social responsibility as the obligation and commitment of managers to take steps for protecting and improving society welfare along with protecting their own interests. So as a manager, uh, I will do the best and the right to do what uh, the safety for my employees, what is the best need to plan about uh, about what is strategy, strategy to be used, uh, decision making, think and think and think wisely before we do the do the step so as a manager a uh, responsibility that go uh, to do the right thing and take a leadership role in making the world better placed we have here number one formal organization dimension some dimension of managing social responsibility are formal in planned activities on the part of organization the former organization, the organizational dimension through which business can manage social responsibility include legal compliance, ethical compliance, and philanthropic giving. A formal organization dimension as organization with a fixed a set of rules of extra organization procedure and structures. So, ang formal organization dimension, uh, meron siyang it's all about rules and regulation. So, about pa rin siya sa ano, uh, rules and obligation. So, we have number two, legal compliance. Is this as the extent to which organization confirms to lo local, state, federal, and international law. The task of managing organization, legal compliance is generally assigned to the appropriate functional managers. So I have here an example. The organization Top Human Resource executive is responsible for ensuring compliance with regulations concerning hiring, pay, and workplace safety and health. Likewise, the top of finance executive generally oversees compliance with securities and banking regulations. So, what is the purpose, purpose of legal compliance? So, the purpose nito is... The purpose is to protect the organizational from costly fines and low costs. Low suits rather. So we, let's proceed to number three. Ethical compliance. So what is ethical compliance? Ethical compliance is the extent to which the organizational member followed basic ethical or an illegal standard of behavior. So, bakit mahalagang ethical compliance? Uh, ethical compliance help ensure that an organization operates within the law and stays through its own ethical principles. And the last, number four, whistle blowing. It's an employee's disclosure of illegal or unethical conduct by others within the organization. How organization responds to this practice of often indicates its values as they relate to social responsibility. So whistleblowing 
is an individual prefers wrongdoing in an organization. Halimbawa, ang isang mong employee ay may nagawang kasalanan. So, whistleblowing can report what she did or what he did. A person who observed questionable behavior typically first reports the incident to his on her bus. That's all for today. Thank you. So, my name is Angel G. Padua, Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness. A thank you and thank you. God bless at all. Hi everyone. So, my name is Jason Gukiao and I'm going to discuss today the international environment of management. Another important of competitive issues of managers today is the international environment. One of the important competitive issues of the managers today is the trends of international business. After World War II, business in war-torn countries had to rebuild from scratch. Consequently, they had to rethink every facet of their operations, including technology and finance. The second is level of international business activity. Firms can choose various level international activity ranging from exporting and importing to, to strategic alliance of direct investment. First type of international business is exporting and importing. It's usually the first type of international business in which firms get involved. Exporting of making product in in the domestic marketplace and selling it another country can involve both merchandise and service. So, ang import is um, pagbibili at pagtanggap mula sa ibang bansa. Kapag export naman, um, ito yung binibili sa ibang bansa mula sa atin. Second type of international business is licensing. Licensing is when company allows another company to use its brand or other assets of return for royalty, usually based on a sales. Franchising, a special form of licensing, is also widely used international business, international business and often referred to franchising. Third is strategic alliances. In a strategic alliances, two or more firms cooperate for mutual benefits. Joint venture is a special type of, of strategic alliances in which partners share ownership of a new enterprise. Unisys and Oracle have two strategic alliances that provide customers with both their service and software. Fourth is direct investment. Dark investment occurs when a firm headquartered in country builds or purchases operating facilities, subsidiarities in another country. So that is my discussion for my report. The organizational environment or the organizational culture. So what do you mean by the organizational culture? So the organizational culture is influenced by belief and assumptions. So, what is belief and assumptions? Belief and assumptions came from what we hear and what we learn. So, the organizational culture is only exists on our experiences, based on our experiences. The importance of organizational culture. So, if you have a strong and positive company, our employees engage. Kumbaga, gaganaan silang pumasok araw-araw tapos anong result nun? it result more sales the next one is the determinants of organizational culture so where does the organizational culture came from typically it develops and blossoms over a long time the last one is managing organizational culture so how does manager deal with other culture so manager must understand the current culture and then decided 
whether it should be maintained or changed.